absolutely delighted to hear that Chocolate Wars was chosen for the Great Read. Um, I feel that it's important to focus on business in Birmingham and of course this was a great local business for nearly 200 years which was sort of a beacon of good practice in management so there's a great deal to learn from it which you know I found fascinating as a historian when I started to study it. So yes I was thrilled to bits that it was chosen, so much to discover. The really extraordinary thing was to discover in the middle of the 19th century there were something like 74 Quaker banks and 200 Quaker businesses you know a, a sort of a Quaker bank in virtually every large city and I had thought goodness any enterprise where you're trying to apply basically the principles of the Bible to a business you know it's just going to be terribly minority interest and suddenly here was this huge thing a lost heritage which I knew nothing about and for me that was fascinating because there we were, the credit crunch, banks, all of us in it up to our eyes with debt and yet the Quakers had had a completely different ethos, completely different set of rules, uh, quite inspiring and they were hugely successful so that for me was amazing. Well the Quaker capitalists were really trying to apply their religious principles to business so right from the outset it wasn't that you made shed loads of money for the people that owned the company it was that all the stakeholders were to get a benefit in the rewards of the company so you know the workforce, suppliers, the consumer with a better product and society at large and you see in a whole range of different things that the business owners did, um, not just Cadbury, Roundtree, um, a whole raft of these Quaker firms, um, they were really trying to look out for the long-term interests of um, you know, whole communities and it makes such a striking and sort of heartbreaking um, contrast to what goes on today. I hope the students will really look closely at the Cadbury Craft case because the Quakers were almost, um, they were just brilliant at considering long-term business interests and at the same time building business success and there's a whole set of things to learn from how they did that that are relevant today. Um, the Cadbury Craft takeover really highlights the essence of short-termism in um, uh, our current system of financial shareholder capitalism and there's a great deal to learn by just literally taking something as iconic as a chocolate bar and unwrapping it and seeing exactly how we got to where we are today.